another Zippo review. I haven't done one of these in a while. This is actually a really interesting Zippo. See the model here on the back of the box is a Planeta Florentine. Now this Zippo came from a viewer in England by the name of Vincent. And uh, Vincent sent me a nice little letter, but basically said, you know, I could show the stuff on camera, but not the, uh, the letter. Um, and I actually got this a long time ago. And this has kind of been uh, hanging around the desk a little bit. Occasionally I, uh, you know, fondle it. It has a really cool, interesting history. Now, uh, this design is called the Florentine, and this mimics a Zippo model that came out in 1974. The Florentine models were basically a floral type pattern. Okay, so you can see that here, it's a floral scroll. This one happens to have uh, two pieces in the corner, and then some slash or hash marks that go across it in the middle. All right, you can see it's sterile. Otherwise, this is on a satin finish. This one was made in 2015. Now what makes this uh, really interesting is this Zippo was actually uh, released September 3rd, 2012 to uh, the Portuguese market, okay, Zippo Portugal. Now as you guys know, all the Zippos are made in Bradford, Pennsylvania, but they are distributed around the world and sometimes they do limited edition models for different countries. In 2010, Zippo decided to create 40 different designs, all right, to commemorate historical events. Now, the only countries these were supposed to go to was France, Spain, and Portugal. But after the third model that came out, uh, France dropped off of that list. So it was just Spain and Portugal. They're actually really successful. So much so that in 2012, there were 20 more designs that uh, went to just Portugal alone. So they dropped off Spain. So now you have Zippos that were only going to Portugal, limited edition runs. Uh, and actually, there's a person on YouTube who... Um, has a few of these different designs, but the videos are in Portuguese, and I believe they're titled Portuguese. So if you type in Zippo Portuguese, you could probably see these if you do happen to speak the language and understand it. Um, my wife happens to speak uh, fluent Portuguese and understand it, but I don't, so I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> but it's still really interesting. Now what makes this one extra special to me is that um, in May 2012, they decided to do this again. Again, this was Zippo Portugal. Okay, and they produced uh, 40 new models to commemorate the 80th anniversary of Zippo as a company. Now, the design has a very rich history and very unique, but the Zippo itself is just, you know, run-of-the-mill 2015 satin model. It just happens to have, again, that Florentine engraving on there. And the Florentine, you know, came before the Venetian, and the Venetian models, which are very floral-type patterns, are one of the best-selling Zippo models out there. And you can find them everywhere. But this particular one was only released in Portugal. So again, the uh, 2010 series of Zippos, there were 40 of them. Uh, each model commemorated different historical events, but in 2012, when they wanted to come out with them again, um, they basically just mimicked different models that came out over the years. So this was a replica of a 1974 Florentine model. So anyway, just a real interesting uh, design. I really like it, and it's got a pretty cool history to it. So once again, thank you uh, to Vincent. I don't think I ever did an unboxing because of the, uh, the letter. It was a private letter. Um, but I did want to take a moment to, uh, to say thank you for that. It was a really beautiful gift. And this one will stay in the, in the old collection. Very cool. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you soon. Take care.